The top three excuses for real estate agents not wanting to take their annual NAR code of ethics training. Number one, I've already taken it. I'm a good person. Yeah, totally. I totally get that. Most realtors are out there doing a yeoman's job of taking care of the public. They can't sleep at night if their clients aren't happy. They're doing everything they can to provide better communications. You're doing great work out there. However, our ethics training changes every year. Why? Because our code of ethics changes based on recommendations from our professional standards and our interpretations groups taken to the executive committee and the board of directors. I love that our code of ethics is a living document. And frankly, there's been changes since you took it the last time. So I promise, even if you took it before, taking it again is going to continue to provide some bright lights into how each of us can make real estate better. The number two reason you don't want to take this ethics training, ethics training is boring. It's actually not boring if you look at it in real life scenarios. So the ethics training can be built on case studies. Case studies are not just, well, what if this one time, they are real life scenarios that happened amongst realtor members and they were adjudicated by grievance committees and professional standards committees and local associations all around the country. And that just sounded really boring to you. What that means is somebody did something, somebody else complained, and then some other people listened to it and made a judgment, guilty or not guilty. We're going to talk about all 17 articles in a guilty, not guilty format. So you get a chance to play along, not just at home game, but I mean, in person, you can play along in your association office. It doesn't have to be boring. And I promise promise you, we're going to laugh, cry, and cringe as we figure out how to become the most professional people out there doing real estate. The number three reason, Lee Brown, I'm too busy to take this class. I know you're busy. I know you are, and you don't have time for more training. I feel you, but frankly, I think for what of y'all, you might have some scroliosis, and you're just sitting here looking at your phone. You did not realize that four hours ran away from you while you were looking at social media. Maybe if you realize you carving out that time can be valuable if you are in there with the right mindset. So when you come to ethics training, I want you to come in and say, you know what? I'm ready to find something I can use in my day-to-day -day business and plug into my marketing so that my neighbors out there will feel more comfortable calling me, knowing I am a competent, knowledgeable, ethical professional. If you come into that training, you'll realize you're not just making time for it, you are investing time in it. And it's all about your mindset so that you can get the outcome you desire. I can't wait to deliver this class again because we have fun, we learn, and then we go out and implement to be better real estate professionals for the entire public. Because you know what that pocket card means? You hold the public trust. Now you really want to take a class that's good. Sign up for National Code of Ethics Day. Go to nationalethicsday.com Talk to your local association, say, hey, let's bring in this amazing live stream class and bring our colleagues in at the same time so we can fellowship and network, discuss the code of ethics together, and go out there and be the best possible real estate professionals while completing your requirement for the National Association of Realtors.